everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Nessus Fan Life Journey. How are you guys doing today? Come on in and thumbs up the video if you are my friend. How are you guys doing today? Welcome, Letty Buddy Nation. I tried something different with the pillows today. I did the white and the gold, and then the white and the gold. I alternated it. Somebody uh, suggested that. So I tried something different so y'all let me know how y'all like it. So I am here today for a couple of sit down conversations. Let me know in the comments bar below if you have anything that you would like for me to talk about. So you guys, I am here today to talk about living debt free. <laughs> How many of y'all want to live debt free? How many of y'all are living debt free? I'm living debt free, but I thought this was a funny subject to talk about because I'm living debt free because I ain't got no money. <laughs> it's easy to live debt free when you don't have no money, y'all. Like you really and truly have to learn how to live within your means. And living debt free or not having any money can be a blessing in disguise because you're able to live debt free. So, uh, I don't have any bills that I don't create. Uh, I have my internet bill, my insurance bill my triple A bill. I have bills like that, but I don't have any car notes. I don't have a mortgage. Uh, I don't have any loans. Uh, so I'm living debt free, y'all. <laughs> this is gonna be a funny video. I don't know if it's just gonna be funny to me. <laughs> But let me know in the comments if it's funny to y'all or can you relate to what I'm saying. Like, I'm living debt free because I don't have no money to create debts and it's a good feeling. Like, I've, I mean, I've had debt before, but it's always been the basics, the essentials, you know, mortgage, car notes, and I've always tried to pay those bills off as soon as possible. So, I don't know, I mean, I, I could tell you how to live debt free, I could tell you to start paying off debt, to start cooking home-cooked meals, to stop eating out, to, I mean, I had to do all of that, to cut back on things that were not necessary, to eliminate unnecessary shopping, uh, to just hone in. What's most important to me, you guys, is I'm weird. What's most important to me is having things at home taken care of. Like if I, I'd rather spend money. Like somebody asked me uh, today, I had meant to turn the air off, but I didn't. So I hope you guys can hear me. Uh, was I gonna go to the, uh, do some fireworks for the 4th of July? Before I spend money, on miscellaneous items that are for oh temporary entertainment I'd rather go buy me some furniture I'd rather go buy me some clothes I'd rather go I mean but I'd rather go buy furniture or buy something that I actually need or pay my car insurance or pay my phone bill I'd rather do something like that than to spend money 
on something miscellaneous and temporary that's only going to give me one day of gratification. I'm not into fireworks. I'm not into concerts. I'm not into stuff that is just going to give me a one-time temporary thrill. Uh, so I get more enjoyment out of spending my money on something that I could see, that I could touch, that I could feel. I'd rather spend some money on some food. <laughs> At least I could taste it. Then to spend some money on some firecrackers. Firecrackers? No. So, I am living debt free, you guys. And one of the principles is, even if you have a credit card, I believe in not charging a card up unless you can pay it off every month. So, when you first get a credit card and you be like, ooh, child, my credit limit is $5,000. Can you pay $5,000 off every month? And if you said, yes, girl, I could pay $5,000 off every month. Well, when you charge it up, whatever you charge it up to, every month when you get the bill, pay it off in full. That will, if you get in the habit of doing that, that will keep you from charging your credit cards up to amounts that will keep you in debt forever. So I don't believe in charging credit cards up to the max, paying one credit card off, taking uh, credit, taking cash advances from one card to pay another card off. You're gonna always be in debt that way. So I, recommend that you do not charge any amount up on a credit card that you cannot pay in full. It's nothing wrong with using your credit card and establishing your credit and building more credit, but if you cannot pay it in full at the end of the month, then do not charge it up and max it out like that. And as a test, charge your credit card to whatever you want to charge it up to every month and pay it in full every month and don't max it over the amount that you cannot afford to pay it in full and don't get a whole bunch of different credit cards just because people are offering them to you actually having a lot of credit cards even if you say I'm just gonna get it and I'm not gonna use it and I'm gonna keep it for a rainy day having a credit card that you're not using and that you're keeping for a rainy day actually lowers your credit your credit score. The more credit cards you have, the more debt to ratio you have, the lower your credit score is. Some of you guys are probably out there saying, well, I have a lot of credit cards and I pay my bills and my credit score is low. Your credit score is low because you have too many credit cards, debt to ratio, you only need to have just a few credit cards. Establish your credit on those credit cards and don't accept all of those extra credit cards that you're not gonna be using. When you need an increase of a line of credit, you're gonna get it from the credit cards that you've been established with all of these years. And it's just not a good look as far as your creditors and as far as building your credit and raising your credit score, it's not a good look to have a whole bunch of credit cards. So the more that you can live debt free and the more that you can lower your debt to ratio, the better your credit score is going to be. Actually, sometimes Having less, well, a lot of times having less credit, less bills, raises your credit score. Like, go figure, <laughs> being broke, <laughs> busted, and can't be trusted. Girl, I mean, I don't know what my credit score is now. But I know a couple of years ago, my credit score was good. And I was homeless. <laughs> I 
I was homeless. I didn't have no bills. I, I mean, and I mean, sometimes you guys being broke. I'm, I'm laughing because it's funny to me, but I'm really, really, really trying to help you guys. Sometimes being broke works in your benefit. It works to your benefit. Being broke teaches you how to manage. Sometimes when you had more access to things, you went crazy. And now having less is teaching you how to save, how to live within your means, how to use what you have. Like I love even if I had money, you guys, I'm a conservative person. So I know how to live within my means. I don't, I'm not into name brand cars. I don't have to have name brand clothes. Even though I like nice things, I mostly like antiques, you know. So I know how to live within my means. I know how to spend money on things that are going to be more gratifying and more beneficial to my lifestyle and so I don't have to try to keep up with the Joneses. I don't have to try to have certain name brand clothes, name brand handbag, name brand shoes. I don't have to have that stuff and even if you do invest in that stuff, having one or two and not an excess of it have, not having all these things in the closet that you're not wearing, that you're not using, is foolish and it's a waste of money and it's keeping you in debt. So that is just my little quick video on me living debt free. Right now I'm living debt free. I have no debt other than my basic bills that I have to pay every month. I have no mortgage. I have no car note. I have no loans or anything like that. So I am living 100% debt free. When I get ready to purchase a vehicle, I would, I would like to be able to have the money to pay for the vehicle in cash. However, I wouldn't pay for it in cash. Never, ever, ever pay for anything in cash, you guys. Uh, if you can charge it, have the cash to pay it off, but pay on it a couple of months and then, or a couple of years and then turn around and pay it off. But always have the money to be able to pay it off or to be able to have like three to four to six months notes just in case something happens. So when I buy another vehicle, you guys, uh, a newer vehicle, uh, I want to have enough money to either pay it off or be able to have the money to pay several car notes uh, just to have it just in case of an emergency or something. So, you know, think smart. The money that you're spending on food, on soda, on drugs, on weed, on nails, that could add up to uh, having months of emergency funds, having savings, and just, just feeling good. I feel good about being able to have security. So, uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments bar or below about being debt free, uh, sometimes being broke and busted works in your favor to being debt free. And if you were one of those people who didn't have discipline in the past, use this opportunity of being broke to learn discipline. It's a lifelong skill that will benefit you in the long run if you learn discipline. I have discipline in my life, you guys, in regards to a lot of areas. Like, I have discipline in my life when it comes to 
the lust of the flesh. I've been celibate for over 10 years. I have discipline in my life when it comes to spending money and finances. I have discipline in my life when it comes to eating and not overeating. So it's important to use what you may consider the worst time in your life. It's important to use that worst time in your life to regroup so you will never, ever, ever get back to this situation again. Or if you do get back to that situation again, you will know how to survive. I'm a survivor. I know how to survive. I know how to make it off of anything. I know how, how to live anywhere. I can live anywhere and survive. I can live in the desert. <laughs> I'm in the desert. I can live in uh, the woods. I can live in the ghetto. I did. Uh, I can live anywhere and survive because I am a survivor. So anyway, you guys, I hope this video was helpful to you. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if it helped you out. If it did help you out, let me know how it helped you out. And let me know if there are any other topics that you would like for me to talk about in the comments bar below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be notified each and every time I upload a new video. And if you want to support the channel in any shape, form, or fashion, all my information is going to be in the description box below. Just look underneath the video and look for the word more. And look for that word and click it two times or the down arrow and you can see all my information. Also, you guys, even if you think you are subscribed to the channel, look for the subscribe button and make sure you're subscribed. If the subscribe button is black or red, you are not subscribed to the channel. Double check it every now and then just to see if you're subscribed. And if you don't see a video from me uh, often, then girl, you must have been unsubscribed to the channel by accident or something because y'all know I post a video every day. So if you don't see a video popping up in your feed from me, say, where is Vanessa, girl? And come over here and look for me and double check and make sure you are subscribed. I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye now.